What's going on everybody? It is Ethan here with another video where today I'll be talking about Thriller 25. So yeah, basically in this video I'm going to be talking about Thriller 25 and my thoughts on the album and everything because you know Thriller 40 is coming up really soon, you know. Like it seems literally just like yesterday we made that video talking about the announcement of it and now we're about to get it just a couple more months coming out which is really great and also at the time of filming this they've revealed the first thriller 40 track which is behind the mask demo which is really great really excited and can't wait to hear that and of course hear the other tracks get revealed so yeah thriller 25 so the thriller 25 came out in 2008 in celebration of the 20th anniversary of thriller of course so this i really like this font in the album and i kind of wish they did the exact same thing with thriller 40 for example just change this these numbers to a 40 like that logo design would have been a lot better i think but yeah thriller 25 the world's best-selling album of all time then we go got the autograph down here and you know the just the normal thriller cover besides that so on the back as you can see has this nice picture from the thriller music video and all the tracks so of course the cd has a total of 16 tracks being you know of course the first um nine being the original album which is great then we got number 10 which is vincent price expert from thriller voiceover session so just like him you know talking like you know sort of like at the end of thriller which is a nice addition then we got the previously unreleased tracks for 25th anniversary edition so yeah let's get into it so the first track is the girl is mine 2008 with will i am so this track right here i really do enjoy this it's a really nice remix and i've heard some people say this and i agree to it to some extent but some people say this version is better than the paul mccartney version which i think both versions are great you know honestly it just depends like how i'm feeling you know if i'm feeling like a slower song i'll listen to the original if i want a more upbeat you know listen to the remix Next up, we got PYT, Pretty Young Thing, 2008 with Will I Am Again, which this one, you know, isn't as good as the Girls Mine remix, but this one is really great. I think, like, they use the PYT demo instead of the original PYT, which is a nice touch. I wish the PYT demo was on here instead of the remix, but, you know, it's still good nonetheless. Next up, we got Wanna Be Starting Something 2008 with Akon. So this track here is kind of hated, kind of liked. Like, some people hate it, some people like it. And the reason people don't really like it is because it's mainly Akon, like 90% of the song. And there's like a small MJ verse in it. Which, I don't know if it's a demo or like he recorded, like his last recording or whatever. Because people, I've, I've heard people say it's a demo. Then I've heard other people say it, it was a new recording for this song. But yeah, overall, Wanna Be Starting Something with Akon is... In my opinion, I think it's good. Like, I still enjoy it. But yeah, next up, uh, we got probably the worst track on the album, Beat It 2008 with Fergie. Um, unlike these other tracks, um, Beat It is... Beat It sounds the exact same, because it's basically just Beat It. And then, like, every, like... I don't know if it's... It's not really every other verse, but it's, like, every other line is Fergie. Which, I mean... <sighs> I mean, Fergie's not a bad singer, but this you know this track really isn't it and the next one you know billy jean 2008 kanye west mix is not really too good either it's like he doesn't have a verse kanye doesn't have a verse or anything on it. he just goes like oh in the background and like the beats just kind of slowed down a little so it's it's not really the best but we got another amazing track to end off this version um, I'll talk about the other tracks as well. But For All Time, unreleased track. For All Time is amazing, great track. Um, yeah, I just really love For All Time. Probably my favorite unreleased song on this album. Like, just I, I just love that song so much. So let's talk about some of these other tracks. So, of course, Carousel. Which, Carousel, I really like the version on the album, of course. But, if so, as some of you know... There is also an extended version of Carousel with like another verse or whatever, which I think is really cool, which I mean, it's kind of unfortunate that it's not on this album, but you know, still nonetheless, Carousel is a great song. Next up, we got Someone in the Dark, which is from the E.T. Storybook album or whatever, which E.T. is actually on the song if you've never heard it before. Um, 
But yeah, someone in the dark, I, I just really like it, you know, I like E.T. Like that, that's just like a fun little song right there. Um, but yeah, so next up we got the Billie Jean demo, which, you know, it's really good. You know, it's just the Billie Jean demo, which it's very nice. I really like demos and stuff like that, you know. There's also like, of course, the Rod Temperton, Quincy Jones, and Vincent Price stuff, you know, like the interviews or the voiceovers or whatever on the albums, but you know, I mean, they're good, you know, of course, but I, I kind of wish like, you know, they had some more Michael stuff, you know, like him talking about the albums that are like Quincy Jones and stuff like that. But nonetheless, that's pretty much it for this album. There's also like a Billie Jean underground mix or whatever, which I don't really know if it's good or not. I haven't really, I don't really remember. There's also like a Thriller instrumental, which is great. So also included is a DVD, which has the three short films being Billie Jean, Beat It, and Thriller, and also the Billie Jean Motown 25 performance, which I think this is really great. Well, I, I think this is good, but like, let's say if I had to add something else, maybe like a Victory Tour concert, or even better, probably the entire Motown 25 performance, or like maybe like the Grammys or like an interview or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this album. I really, really like Thriller 25. Bad 25, I'll review that in another video. But Thriller 25, I personally think that this is a great album. Some of the unreleased songs are amazing, like For All Time. I think For All Time could have been on the album, then it would have still been a 10 out of 10 album. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And also, I'd like to apologize for the lack of uploads recently. You know, I've just been really busy and stuff like that. But I will be making some more videos when I have the time, you know. So yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.